photographing weddings since 2004. Uh, a couple of my friends that year asked me to photograph their wedding for them, which I was more than happy to do. And uh, really the business has grown since then. I very much approached a wedding in the way that I would want to shoot a wedding, which was I wanted to be very hands-off, I wanted to work in the background, and I didn't want to dictate the way that the day should go. This is how I explained it to my friends when I said that I would cover their wedding for them. They were very, very happy with this, and really, that's what I've always brought to all of my clients now, is I always explain to them that on the day, if you want a wedding photographer who is going to rig everything, set everything up, give you lots of posed formal shots, I'm probably not the man to cover the wedding. However, if you want someone that's going to blend into the background and shoot the day in an unobtrusive, quiet manner, but give you a beautiful lasting record of that wedding day, then I'm hopefully the person that you would like to cover your wedding. The most interesting places I photographed wedding-wise, uh, two in particular spring to mind. Uh, I photographed in Sorrento in Italy a couple of years ago and that was absolutely beautiful. Um, obviously it was a great privilege to be flown out there by my clients and as far as location goes you couldn't ask for more. You literally have the Bay of Naples in the background, you have Mount Vesuvius in the background as well. The weather was absolutely stunning and the wedding was held in an orange grove so just absolutely beautiful. Um, the other one that springs to mind for me would be Nash Point Lighthouse which was on the south coast of Wales and it was a very blustery day. Uh, I'm not a great fan of heights so that was quite entertaining as well because we inevitably wound up on the top of the lighthouse. Um, so yeah, I was trying to man up and get on with the job as well as I could but again visually it was a wonderful, wonderful wedding to do and very unique in the fact that at the time it was the only lighthouse in the country where you were allowed to get married. An average day for me is uh, it's a variable, it really is. I've shot weddings that have been six hours on the day and they've been fairly local to where I live. I've also then shot weddings uh, which have been in Europe or they have maybe been up north. And you know, an average day is often anything between, I would suggest maybe 10 to 15 hours. But you know, it can be six, it can be 17. At the end of the day, I'm there to cover the wedding for my client and I will give them as many hours or as few hours on the day as they would wish for. With regards to style, I would probably say one word that would sum up uh, my approach stylistically to a wedding would be documentary. Obviously, uh, in this day and age, there are many different styles to shooting a wedding, and I don't particularly dislike any of them or prefer any of them per se. It's just that what I try and do is approach a wedding very much as a documentary photographer who's shooting a wedding rather than being a wedding photographer. For me, it probably ties in with my ethos of covering a wedding in an honest way. And I just try to give an image that will be a beautiful image now, a beautiful image in five years, 10 years and 20 years. With regards to lighting and how I actually shoot on the day, it's very important to me especially these days that I, I tend to shoot almost 95 if not 99% of the wedding day uh, by available light. I don't use flash guns uh, unless absolutely necessary. Normally on a wedding day the flash gun may occasionally come out for a first dance, many times it doesn't. Um, pretty much for the rest of the wedding day it never ever comes out of the bag. The most important aspect of photographing a wedding for me, I suppose in one word, would be honesty. I try not to photograph a wedding by interpreting it through the lens the way that I would want it to appear. This isn't my wedding. Uh, it's not for me to showboat or to try the latest photographic style or the latest clever post-production trick with. For me, it's about showing the wedding as it was and there's nothing more gratifying than when you show the album or the web gallery to your clients after the day and not only do they remember it and it brings back joyful memories for them and emotions but also sometimes they're even completely unaware that certain shots are being taken at the time or maybe they weren't even there because you're off shooting something else and it's things that they as a couple don't get to see on the day. I'd like to think what hopefully separates me in my approach and just maybe sets me apart from other wedding photographers would be the way in which I 
think about a wedding, it's not just a case for me of turning up on the day and taking photos of exactly just what was there. I try and obviously convey images that will tell the story of the day, but more importantly also try and capture the emotion of the day. Um, effectively, I've always said what I like to do with a wedding is I would like someone who couldn't make the wedding day, who maybe knows the couple, to be either able to look at the web gallery or maybe they would see the wedding album once it's been produced and not only would they know who was there on the day where it physically took place and get a sense of that but also really be able to glean from the images the emotion of the day and the sentiment of the day so they could actually almost feel that they were a part of it as well so it's not just about photographing by numbers and making sure have I photographed the preparation have I photographed them walking down the aisle have I photographed them having their first kiss all of those elements are very important but even more so to me is I want to create a lasting beautiful record of the day which tells the story but also captures the emotion. With our wedding packages we very much believe in a all-inclusive um, philosophy in the way that we work. I don't like um, packages where you see a certain price and you think that's wonderful, but then by the time you've added this and added this and added this, it's almost doubled in price. What we try and do is we give a figure and that figure will be the figure for your wedding day. So we offer three packages. One of them is a digital package. This is basically where we will turn up on the day or I will turn up on the day. I'll photograph the wedding for you from start to finish, however long you need on the day. After that, I will go away. I will do the edit down. I will do all of the post-production in both colour and in black and white. You then receive all of the images in both colour and black and white, normally around about 200 to 250 images. I'll also put a web gallery online. You'll also receive a DVD slideshow set to some music of your wedding day too. Um, all copyright permissions are granted to you so you can reproduce these images as you would want to do so. The next package up from there really gives you everything that that package does, but with the addition of an 8x8 coffee table book and two 6x6 parent books. And the next package up from there simply goes to a 12x12 album with two 6x6 parent books. So recapping, essentially we have a digital package, an 8x8 album package and a 12x12 album package, but everything is inclusive.